2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Hello basketball fans, you've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. We've got the Los Angeles Lakers taking on the San Antonio Spurs. And it's going to be San Antonio off the tip. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Green and Rondo in the backcourt. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. And it's LeBron in at the small forward. Now, here's Parker. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. You know, Tim Duncan does a nice job, especially when one of his guys is open. That floor awareness of his, dime drop. Rondo gets the bucket. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. And so Green will bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Spurs passing it around. Splitter kicks to Parker. Over Rondo. Parker's shot is off. Now we'll go to David Aldridge, who had a chance to talk with head coach Greg Popovich. Thanks, Kevin. He said when you're going against a team that can dominate like this one inside, you have to really play great help defense, communicate, and double team, but only when it makes sense. It's a little bit of a chess match, but it's a physical one, guys. Thank you, David. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. That one drops for him. And he's got the athleticism and strength to be a powerful presence inside. Leonard never afraid to get in and mix it up down low. Now here's James. Outside, Davis. Back to LeBron. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. James is really a clever player. I mean, he uses trickery as much as he does brute force, proving to be one step ahead of them there. Duncan makes it off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now here's LeBron. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. You know, LeBron James is so strong and able to finish through contact because of it. You've got to wrap him up. You've got to get him before he gets that ball up in the shooting motion because contact other than that doesn't bother him. Banked in off the glass. Guys, no one team gaining control early on. Yeah, and you look at the lead changes. Six already. The Lakers trail. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Poked away. Kuzma. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. Parker dishes to Duncan. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. So it's San Antonio now. Leonard the pass to Green. Parker with the bounce pass. Inside. Duncan trying to break loose. And there's Green on the assist from Tiago Splitter. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Rondo passes to Kuzma. LeBron with it. And the whistle blows. It'll be on Tiago Splitter. That is his first foul of the game. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. And here's Green outside. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajan Rondo. And Green is a world-class sniper. Laser, an excellent shooter. Great at getting his puppy set on these shots from deep. Green kicks to Parker. A three-pointer off the mark. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. And he gets it to go. Six points for LeBron. 
Tell you what, if he's within sounding distance of the basket, he's going to get his bucket. You can count on that. Parker passes to Green. This one for three. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Green. And so Green will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. They lead by four. Rondo kicks to James. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Marker finds Splitter. Outside Leonard. The three. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. How about Kawhi Leonard knocking down the three ball? Didn't have that shot when he got into the league. Love seeing how he's improved as a shooter with the outside jump. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now here's Parker. Back to Green. Fires the three. LeBron grabs the miss. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Oh, I love this from Kuzma. When he attacked with this kind of ferocity and confidence, watch out. Hide and protect the children. Parker against Rondo. Parker dishes to Leonard. Pass to Duncan. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Leonard against James. Davis with the bucket. Yeah, I'll tell you what, guys. I think that's the best part of James's game, and he's got a lot of good parts, but his vision is otherworldly. Outside Leonard. Parker outside. Jacks up a three. That shot misses. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Well, I'll tell you what. He's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Splitter against Davis. Shoots a fader. And again, it's the Lakers. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Spurs trail by five. Leonard looking around. That one's not going to go. Great D that time from LeBron. Guys, we've seen some excellent offensive output. Yeah, great momentum for them offensively. And the defense scattered all over the place on the break. Nice job finding the wide open three. Now here's Leonard. Five points in the game. Comes up empty from 19 feet out. Parker against Kuzma. On the wing, Green. Back to Kuzma. Over Parker. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. To the wing on the left. To halt the run. And he connects with the jumper. Parker's got his second basket. And the defense making its presence felt, but Parker just too creative when he gets down low. Guzma passes to LeBron. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul, stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. The Spurs shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops in for Tony Parker. And Parker has such speed and creativity, just causes the defense fits in terms of how to properly guard it. Here's what San Antonio is going with right now. Bellinelli comes in for splitter. And Corey Joseph subbed in for Danny Green. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. 
DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for Davis. JaVale McGee comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And Tavius Caldwell-Pope, he's checked in for Green. And Cook subbed in for Rajon Rondo. Los Angeles leading by four. Pass to McGee. Back to LeBron. This is to McGee. On the wing, James. Leonard with the steal. Here's Bellinelli. Down low, Duncan. And James pulls it down. Well, he's much better than that. Really no excuse for missing that lay -in. And there's another turnover by the Lakers. San Antonio making a switch here. Mills is checked in. And here is Joseph. And there's the pass to Leonard. From downtown, he can't get that one to fall. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. LeBron passes to Cousins. Back to James for three. The Lakers rebound. Here's McGee. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Boy, for a seven-footer, he's got really good bounce, does JaVale McGee, and doing a nice job working on the glass there. Mills looking it over. Joseph, the pass to Duncan. Outside, Bellinelli. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. This is where Bellinelli burns you the most now. He's as reliable as it gets from behind the arc. LeBron outside. Back to Cook. Down to five on the shot clock. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Fades and shoots. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Can't forget about the mid-range, Jay. Cousins rising up with confidence from there. Now here's Mills. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Shot by Joseph. No good. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear. They're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. <laughs> I would agree. Cousins with the bucket. And it's a nine-point Laker lead. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. And stolen by LeBron. Jumps up. And James throws it down hard. When LeBron's able to get into those passing lanes and come up with steals, he's looking to punish the defense at the other end. And Mills kicks to Joseph. Leonard on the wing. That one's off. Still out of sync. And so Cousins will bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. 11-point game. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point, defensively, defensively you have to take something away. Traps in the tray. Well, you see the competitive spirit of Mills. You knock down the shot on his team, he's coming for the payback. Here is Cook. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's McGee. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They dictated the pace, pushed the ball at every chance, and it's paying off for them. Right back after this break. So far, 
Uh, through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And for the Lakers, this has been the game they wanted to have. An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Yeah, you know what? Makes it really easy for the coaching staff in that case. No adjustments needed. Just keep on keeping on. Lakers leading by 11. So on the floor for the Lakers to start this second quarter. JaVale McGee is out there with Caldwell Pope. Then there's DeMarcus Cousins. And it's Daniels in at the two guard. Caldwell Pope. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, he's a guy who looks for his shot often. He's energetic and outstanding at forcing the issue. Caldwell Pope is his name. It's his first trip to the line. And looking back last season, how about 87% from the line? So that's obviously nothing to sneeze at. Guys, I thought he got into a groove last year at the charity stripe, and I thought he maintained it deep into the season as well. First free throw is good. A sharp shooter with a quick trigger release. Caldwell Pope is known for being an efficient scorer. And Caldwell Pope drops them both. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Here's Joseph. And the rejection by Cousins. When he puts everything he has into his defense, Cousins can be a force. Big, strong, and smart. Of course, he's going to block his share of shots when he's committed. Here is Daniels. Kawhi Leonard making his last shot. And the Spurs pushing it up now. Here's Joseph from down in the low post. It goes. Yeah, ramping up the speed there in transition. Once Joseph sees a route and path to the goal, he's off to the races. Caldwell Pope outside. And the rejection by Leonard. Stolen by McGee. Here's Caldwell Pope. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And with the leaping ability that Caldwell Pope possesses, he knows when to bounce to the rack and throw it down. Passes it to Duncan. Outside, Joseph. Five to shoot. And here's Mills for three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. McGee's got four rebounds in this game to the middle. Here's Cousins. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And You know, DeMarcus Cousins is used to playing through contact. I mean, he's excellent at overwhelming the defense with his strength. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Tell you what, guys. They're showing us a lot of energy early on and racking up those fast break points. And also, defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight. And, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. On the free throw, no good. And everyone knows when Cousins controls his emotions, he's one of the very best centers in the game. Lakers leading by 15. Now Kuzma. He's got six. Let's it fly from 18. Eyes again. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Duncan. They get it back. Trying to get open is Kuzma. No good from Duncan. And so Cousins will bring it up for Los Angeles. 17-point lead, their biggest. Cook dishes to Cousins. Pass to Daniels. For the three. That one's in his first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Joseph finds Mills. 
to stop the run. Cousins pulls it in. And just not able to find the target from three-point range here in the second quarter, although he did knock down one in the first. No excuses, none. I mean, with the defense non-existent, I mean, he has to connect from there. Mills passes to Duncan. And Duncan gets double teamed. Hills with it. Just five to shoot. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Mills has got five points so far. Lakers leading by 18. Here is Cook. No points in the game yet for him. And here's Daniels. And Cousins kicks to Daniels. That three off the mark. Daniels has gone one of three shooting so far. Here's Mills. And that one hits back iron. And smothered him on that mid-range attempt. As a defender, he's going to just be a bothersome, worrisome guy, making you miserable all night. A hand in your face on every jumper. Now here's Mills. Five points in the game. Pass to Duncan. Kicks to Bellinelli. And here's Mills from the arc. Trains it from beyond the arc. Mills has got five points in the quarter. You know, Mills has been a guy who's been very streaky as a perimeter shooter, but he's been good behind the arc his entire career. Shoots from the elbow. Second shot opportunity. And there's another turnover by the Lakers. No clue <laughs> where that pass is going. That is a brutal turnover. And some changes here for the Spurs. Splitters checked in for Duncan. Green comes in for Marco Bellinelli. And Parker subbed in for Patty Mills. The Lakers also making some changes. Davis is checked in for Cousins. Arjan Rondo subbed in for Quinn Cook. Parker finds Splitter. Over Davis. Tips it. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Splitter's got his second basket of the night. Yeah, how about the hustle of Splitter? Just never stops working on the board. Outside Brantley. Back to Ronda. Here's the dish to Davis. And nothing is falling for him right now. Spurs trail by 13. Let's it go from 14. Leonard trying to break free. And that's a pure hustle play, getting to the offensive glass for the tipping. And that's the kind of quality you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? Definitely. You're not going to make plays like that unless you expend the energy. Bradley, and it's sent back by Leonard. And a sensational individual defender. Leonard will lock you down. Rejections are just part of the package he brings on the defensive end. Now here's Leonard. He has seven. Here's Splitter. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Loads it up for Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleep. Here's Joseph following the basket by Anthony Davis. The pass to Splitter. That's a two from Parker. They get it back. Not as good in the Los Angeles leads. Got down to 11 on the bucket from Splitter. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Leonard with the steal. One-on-one -on -one fast break. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Leonard's got four points this quarter. He's starting to find himself out there now. You know, he's taking much better shots here in the second quarter. So timeout called here, the first for Los Angeles. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak.
some changes here for the Lakers. LeBron comes in for Bradley. And it's Green in for Daniels. Rondo against Parker. From deep LeBron. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. And that's 13 points for LeBron. LeBron James can beat you from anywhere on the floor. Inside mid-range or from deep. Passes it to Parker. Pass to Swooter. Five on the clock. He kicks it to Leonard. Goes up with a stripe. He hits hauled in by Los Angeles. Kuzma's got rebound number five here tonight. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Here's Leonard after the basket by Los Angeles. That shot, no good. Kuzma with the defensive effort. Feeds it to Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. How about the leaping ability of Davis? Easily gets off the ground to throw it down. And he's a quick jumper and decision maker. Now here's Joseph. Pass to Parker. Now here's Splitter. He's looking for Joseph and finds him, and it's in there. Joseph's got four points this quarter. And giving up some inches inside, but makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, you know, with that size difference, that's not an easy shot. I mean, I don't care how close to the rim he is, that's a tough shot. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. The Lakers have gone two for three at the foul line in this game. And looking at last season's numbers, down below 70% as a team from the line. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case, Greg. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. Now here's Splitter. Eight points for him. Parker outside, and here's Green outside, and Davis pulls it down. Davis has got four rebounds in this game. In the corner, it's James. And they double up LeBron. And it's Davis with the jam. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Part of what makes him unique, guys, that combination of power and polish. So it's the Spurs now after the basket by the Lakers. Far from just a jump shooter, Joseph is not shy at getting inside and making it happen there. Oh, Kuzma's in position. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets, an exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. Guys, I tell you, there are assists, and then there are delicious dimes. This was the lap. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, Greg, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and, and rough, but that's how you win games. And he gives that rim a good tug on the way down. That's how you drive your point home right there. He's lucky to get away with that, though, guys. I mean, it could have earned him a technical for hanging on too long. Contavious Caldwell Pope. He's checked in for Los Angeles. Free throw good, Kuzma. You know, some folks were saying Kuzma wouldn't even get drafted a few years ago. That's why this draft stuff is more art than science sometimes, but he has proven his doubters wrong very quickly. Now, here's Parker. He's got six, and Davis pulls it down. Davis has got rebound number five here tonight. And a wide-open look for James. Rebounded by the Spurs. 
Leonard's got his sixth rebound on the night. Over Rondo. Offensive rebound. Kuzma with the defensive effort. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. San Antonio again missing. And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. The jump hook, and the shot is long. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Leonard. Offensive struggles continue, missing again. Over in the corner, Caldwell Pope. Off target from outside. Now here's Leonard. Nine points in the game so far. From deep three-point range, and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's Los Angeles, finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. LeBron James had it going on in the first quarter. He had 16 points, four rebounds, and one steal. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. They're going right to the rim, finishing every chance they get. The D was helpless trying to stop them and beating them inside. I love the relentlessness and the aggressive style. This is how you impose your will on another team. Shaq, let's get your thoughts on San Antonio. Well, they got a ton of issues to work out. Allow way too high a percentage to be shot against them. Not really showing any energy on defense. No discipline. Look at their faces, Ernie. Do they even want to be here? Hey, and that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. We've got Duncan. Green out there with Parker. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Splitter in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's who Greg Popovich starts the second half with. And one thing you can say about Green, I don't know of too many players who are as dependent on their three-point shot as he is. He needs that shot to be falling for him to make an impact. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Green. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Up top, Leonard, covered by LeBron. The pass to Splitter. Takes the three. Leonard, no luck. You know, he's just not taking good shots, not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage jump there. Baseline try, and it's James missing. Kuzma against Leonard. He feeds it to Parker. No good that time. 
Great D that time from Rondo. Kuzma passes to Rondo. And Parker with the block. Now Leonard on the wing, Green. Parker outside. Outside, Green. San Antonio getting another chance here. Duncan can't hit. That's a big donut, folks, here. Start the second half. Four straight they've missed. Rondo. Oh, my goodness. That is rough to Yeah, you got to respect the awareness level of Rondo. When his teammates have a clean look at the basket, the ball gets there without hesitation. And here we go. Fast break. Kuzma's got it. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. You got to love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And, you know, you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. This is his second trip to the free throw line. And he shot line foul lanes. shots at line about a 75% clip one a shot. season ago. Here's Leonard. Nine points in the game so far. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Parker. He hits hauled in by Los Angeles. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Boy, that burst of speed. James may be the fastest guy in the league. And because of his size and speed, he's a force when he turns the Jets on. For Los Angeles, they have gone six of eight from the free throw line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. first free throw is good and you know when you've played over a decade and a half in the league it's expected that you're going to slow down but LeBron still going strong and he can't hit the second Leonard against Rondo. To the paint, here's Parker, and Davis sends it back. Boy, I tell you what, Davis uses his length so well. I mean, a defensive stalwart who holds his ground, and because of his timing and length and athleticism, he's an excellent shot blocker. Now here's Parker. Rajon Rondo missing his last shot. Parker finds Duncan. Trying to end the drought, and that's two points on the layup. Duncan's got six. And you know, Duncan is an incredible talent. He's a menace on the block. Exceptional at scoring deep inside. Rondo dishes to LeBron. Back to Rondo. Inside, Kuzma. And Kuzma slams it in. So good at getting to his spots and then cashing in, making the game look easy. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. And the wide open shot from Green. And it's off from three-point range. The feed now to James. Over Duncan. And LeBron gets it to go with the assist by Green. James has got 19 points. You know, because James is such a consistent, confident shooter from the mid-range, you, you just can't afford to let him get comfortable. Outside, Green lets it go with a three. Hits it from three-point range. He's got five. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's James. Good again. He's on tonight. Nine for 13 shooting. Another one of those special nights for LeBron. I mean, you know, if he sticks around till he's an older fella, that all-time scoring career mark... Wow, might be in jeopardy. James against Leonard. Passes it to Splitter. 
to the inside. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And the layup good by Parker. Parker's got his third bucket of the night. And able to get it done once again in close. Just one of the ultimate finishers at the rim. LeBron kicks to Rondo. Green against Green. Pass to Kuzma. Here's Davis. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. What's up? They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Los Angeles? They keep piling up the assists, and they haven't cooled off at all. They've repeatedly the gotten legs. out on the break tonight the as well and scored a lot One of shot. baskets in transition. Looking at who's out there now for the Spurs. Bellinelli, he's checked in for Leonard. And it's Mills in for Green. That one misses for Davis. Davis is really the total package. A mobile, sharp shooting big guy who can score from everywhere. Here's Parker. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's his first personal foul. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Tony Parker. At the line for two. Two shots. That's on the first. The first one falls. JaVale McGee's check in for Davis. And Parker drops them both. And it's Cook with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Outside Bradley. There's the triple. It's good from long range. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. Now here's Parker. He's covered by Daniels. The three from Mills. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Lakers ball. Mills has gotten three of his eight shots to go, around 37%. Cook the pass to Cousins. Back to Cook. Bradley kicks to Cook. Pass to Daniels. Puts up a three. No good. And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. Mills in the corner. And the pass to Splitter. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. Yeah, you know, Mills is one of those energizing players who does a little bit of everything, including finding his open teammates. Pass to Cousins. Plays it up off the glass. Cousins has got eight points. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Parker's shot is off. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Daniels, no good. Daniels has gone just one of five from the field. Mills passes the splitter. Duncan right side. And the rejection by Cousins. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Duncan. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for splitter. And here are the Lakers. Daniels with it. Pass to Cook. Here is McGee. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Shot clock at five. And it's McGee with the jam. 
In this kind of athleticism at the center position, pretty remarkable. I mean, McGee letting it all hang out there. Here's Parker. A rebound by the Lakers. McGee's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Bradley. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And last season, 86% from the line so he's always had What's that up? calm presence at the line no matter the situation and guys the numbers don't lie i mean he was such a reliable presence at the free throw line all throughout last season that free throw good from avery bradley here's mills eight points for him they need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence Bellinelli against Caldwell Pope. Bellinelli passes to Baines. Six to shoot. And Mills kicks to Bellinelli. Again, the miss by the Spurs. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Cook the pass to Cousins. Back to Cook. The three. And the jam by DeMarcus Cousins. You got to love how Cousins uses his size, his reach. He's more prolific on the defensive glass, but obviously a factor on the offensive end as well. Now here's Joseph. He has six. Pass to Duncan. Here's Mills, guarded by McGee. Mills can't hit. Mills has got three of his nine shots to fall. Here's Cousins, outside Brantley. And out of bounds as the Spurs gain possession. You know, I think he may have forced that pass when there was really no reason to. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, DeMarcus Cousins suffered an Achilles injury, and it was a major setback for him, but it was also an eye-opener. Cousins said any given day could be your last day playing, and all the celebrity, all the fame ends. My love for the game has grown, but at the same time, I want to be more than just a basketball player. And Kevin, challenges can put anything into perspective. Thank you, D.A. The Lakers have made eight of their 12 free throws in this game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Caldwell Pope. And Caldwell Pope drops them both. And so it's Joseph with it. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. Now the pass to Mills, and that one drops for him. Mills has got 12 in the game. Yeah, Joseph adept at finding his open teammates, and that's exactly what you want from your point guard. Cook kicks to Bradley. From 15 feet away, and the shot goes down. And nice job taking what the defenders gave him. These guys need a gut check right now. Well, that's exactly the kind of defense that's gotten them into the hole. Now, here's Mills. 12 points for him. Baines passes to Mills, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. You know, so far, he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Passes to Cousins. Right block shot. Kicks it out to Bradley, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Cousins. You know, that's just sloppy basketball giving away a possession. No real reason for that turnover. 
five. Here's Joseph. He's got six. Baines. That shot is off. Nice D from Cousins. It's Bradley on the wing. McGee trying to break free. Bradley can't get it to go. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. Bellinelli passes to Duncan. The shot's good. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Yeah, the quiet intensity that Duncan brings, J just incredible. He's a consistent force whose teammates really look up to. Now, here's Caldwell Pope, 11 points in the game. Looking for McGee, he gets it there. Oh, why dunk you very much. <laughs> he, he can really fly, and you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. A lot of bounceability there, guys. I mean, well above the rim. That's what makes him dangerous. to the paint and here we go Cousins heading to the hoop yeah, and the long reach of Cousins really enables him to hammer home some skyscraping jam here's Mills the rebound by Cook hit his leg and the official saying it was kicked Leonard he's checked in for San Antonio the Lakers also making some changes Anthony Davis he's checked in for JaVale McGee James comes in for Bradley Rajon Rondo is subbed in for Cook. 58 seconds left in the third. Here's James. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. He's got his fourth free throw of the game. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season and you know that's not the kind of percentage any player wants to see next to his name at the end of the season the Spurs making a switch here Green's checked in mind the lanes mind the lanes one shot free throw no good for LeBron and missing opportunities here to extend that lead at the free throw line this half. From deep green, Cousins pulls it in. Cousins has got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. Here's Davis and a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. Davis has got 16 points. Just so resourceful as a player. Davis gets the job done inside in all sorts of ways. And that's one of them right there, crashing the offensive glass, getting that second chance bucket. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Leonard with the steal. It's three on three on the fast break. Looking to end the run, and the layup is up and in. He's got 11 and busting it up the floor. Leonard showing a lot of energy on the fast break. If there's one thing he doesn't lack, it's hustle. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers enjoying the kind of gigantic lead you almost never see. They've been playing some inspired defense, giving up very few easy points. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. 
taking a look at Los Angeles. Caldwell Pope and LeBron fill out the wings. Jared Dudley out there with Anthony Davis. And it's Caruso in at the point. Smith finds Johnson. Down to five on the shot clock. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. And it's Davis missing. Davis against Caldwell Pope. Over Davis, LeBron trying to free himself up. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. Caldwell Pope's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Lakers. Pass to Johnson. Williams looking over the floor. Pass to Smith. Here's Baines. And Davis sends it back. Caldwell Pope on the wing, covered by Smith. And it's Davis missing. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Outside Williams, the pass to Smith. Feeds to Baines. It's stolen by Davis. Here's Caldwell Pope. Rips down the breakaway slam. KCP is a guy who can pull up from three just as easily as take it to the cup. He's a tough cover in transition. Johnson, the pass to Baines. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Baines has got his first two points of the night. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that one. James in the post. He's guarded by Davis. It's taken away by Smith. And, oh, here we go. Smith's got it. The fast break chance. Pass to Baines. Davis against Caldwell Pope. Pass to Baines. Davis kicks to Smith. Here's Baines. Davis with some nice D. And it's Davis with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. A great fourth quarter, just giving up two points. LeBron can score from anywhere, but he's most effective close to the hoop. Very skilled in the paint. Pass to Johnson. Outside Williams. And there's the pass to Smith. Deflects the pass. It's stolen by Davis. And now it's Davis running. He can go all the way. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. What? You, you mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Passes it to Smith. Here's Baines. Six on the shot clock. Back to Smith at the elbow, Williams. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Here's Caruso. James outside. Loads it up for Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. And from distance, no less. What an amazing pass. That's about as long an alley of pass as you're going to see. To be right on time and on target from that distance, ridiculous. And it's Baines missing. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. So quick on these drives, as quick as a hiccup. Can't let him, Caldwell Pope, get into the lane like this. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Back to Johnson. To the middle. And there's Williams. That's good on the assist by Johnson. Williams has got four points in the quarter. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. And here is Los Angeles now. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Back to James. Caruso looking for an opening. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Anthony Davis at the line for two. Oh. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. The Lakers making a switch here. Daniels has checked in. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. And here is Davis. On the wing, Johnson. Here's Baines. He's guarded by Davis. Just five on the clock. Spurs working the ball around now. Williams passes to Johnson. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got rebound number 13 with that last one. Johnson against Caldwell Pope. Pass to Caruso. JaVale McGee's check in for Los Angeles. Coming out of the floor for the Lakers. JaVale McGee. Pass to Caruso. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. McGee finds Caldwell Pope. Shot clock at six. Buries it from three-point range. Caldwell Pope's got nine points now in the quarter. He drilled one from deep in the first half, doing it again here in the second. Bounce pass for Williams. Baines inside. McGee's there. Outside Williams. There's the pass to Davis. Now Williams, from deep. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. McGee's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Outside for Davis. Passes it to Baines. Smith outside. He dishes it to Davis. Outside Williams, pass to Smith, and here is Davis. He's guarded by Dudley. Williams can't get it to go. And here's the Lakers. They're on a 17-6 run. Count that bucket. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Outside, Davis. Johnson, the pass to Baines. Shoots over McGee. Again, the miss by the Spurs. It has not been his game so far. I mean, he's trying his best, giving great effort, but little has gone his way. San Antonio with the ball. Johnson, the pass to Williams. Drops in the layup for two. Williams has got six here in this quarter. Terrific accuracy on that pass. That's how you lead your teammate. Here's Caruso. Pass to Caldwell Pope. No good on the triple. Now here's Williams. The pass to Davis. On the wing, Johnson. Williams passes to Johnson. Davis kicks to Johnson. Williams for three. Rebounded by McGee. McGee has got 11 rebounds in the game. Passes it to Caruso. Pass to Dudley. In the corner, Daniels. Caldwell Pope outside. Pass to Dudley. Caldwell Pope feeling it out of it. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That's his, That's his first foul. You know what? You've got to always be in control of your emotions. 
straight frustration right there, and I agree with you. Self-control of your emotions, a must-have if you're going to play winning basketball. Baines with the block. They retain possession. That one goes. Count it. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Spurs. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. Baines dishes to Smith. Johnson, the pass to Williams. Smith with it. Six to shoot. Outside Williams. Back to Johnson. From deep three-point range, it's hauled in by Los Angeles. And maybe he thinks he has that type of range, but I'm not sure who'd agree with him. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes guys have the green light to take that shot, but I don't think he's one of them. Here's McGee. Off the mark with the outside fadeaway. San Antonio with the ball. Outside, Williams. Rebound by JaVale McGee. Here's Caruso. The pass to McGee. Now Daniels. Let's it go. And it's off the back rim. No good. And so it's San Antonio with it. Williams. It's good. The assist that time from Smith. And it's eight points for Williams. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. Here's Caruso. One thirty-nine left to play here in the fourth. San Antonio with the ball. On the wing, Williams. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Smith the pass to Davis. Johnson outside. Passes to Baines. McGee with the block. Boy, and the wingspan McGee has covers a lot of ground. Very useful for shot blocking. Pass to Dudley. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Caldwell Pope kicks to Daniels. Fires from deep. He doesn't hit that one. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. The drive by Smith. Pass to Williams. Smith outside. Back to Williams. Davis, the pass to Williams. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And the Lakers have possession. One second separate in the shot clock and game clock. And the pass to Daniels. Looking to end his cold spell. And Davis pulls it down. Johnson, the pass to Baines. Johnson left side. Down low. And Baines kicks to Mills. Again, the miss by the Spurs. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Olmos, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.